Hey guys, uh, throttles, always getting asked how they work, like some sort of insane clown posse uh, meme. Throttles, how do they even work? Well, apart from a few resistive models, which tend to be nice and smooth, uh, these hall sensor versions um, you'll find on most EVs and e-bikes all work the same sort of way. They'll have a mechanism with a magnet moving towards a hall sensor and as it gets closer or further away, it'll uh, scale an input voltage, usually five volts, and scale that up or down. So, nice simple one here, three wires, red and black of course being positive and negative feeding in. Um, and we've got a green wire for the signal, so if you measure with a multimeter between uh, the ground and the signal wire, uh, you'll see a voltage scaling um, from zero to five volts. In fact, what you'll probably see is about one volt clipped off the end of, of uh, the zero to five volt range. You'll probably see about one to four volts as it goes up and down. And that's to eliminate any noise uh, so that you don't get any sudden takeoff events. Most controllers will rescale that range anyway on startup. Some throttles I've seen as low as a bit over three volts, but they still function ultimately the same way. The controller reapplies that, and once it works out that uh, 3.2, say, volts is the maximum, it'll rescale that as, uh, as full power. It's also worth noting that not all hall sensors inside here are equal. Some are quite chunky, and they call that resolution. Um, some will only have a few steps, and you'll know these when you try a high-powered bike with a bad controller. Uh, it will literally feel like the bike's only got four or five speeds, and then some are incredibly smooth. And those resistive ones, like the Magura that I mentioned before, uh, are incredibly smooth. They ultimately do the same thing a different way, scaling and output voltage the same sort of way. Uh, some throttles have other things on board. Here's one with a, a voltmeter in behind this dark uh, screen and a switch. Uh, and it's intimidating often when you're met with a, a whole bunch of wires. Uh, these guys have actually split off uh, three wires for the, um, power and signal. And then they've got another couple of plugs for uh, switching the switch through and, and the voltmeter. They all do ultimately the same thing. When you sit down and nut them out, they're not so intimidating. As well as that linear slide throttles, uh, things like motos and golf carts as well. Posted a video on this one the other day. Um, not everybody likes to listen to classroom theory, so I'm going to see if I can join up a quick video to the end of this with a multimeter and uh, old Mr. Banana power source and see if I can show the voltage scaling out so it might be clearer for some people who aren't quite there yet. Cheers. So. Throttle's resting at 0.9 of a volt. Before the BMS cuts out, I can probably scale it up to about 4.3 volts. Before the BMS trips out on the old trusty banana power supply. So resting at 0.9 of a volt, and then scaling up to about 4.4.